Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just give me another chance, I can play striker. Don't you worry, Mayor Rooney, I'm going to let you play striker. It's great, obviously. In La Liga del Mercado. Liga Nelly Furtado. Something like that. Um. Right on here. Louis, what are you doing here? Vain, come play for me. What's up, big boys, and welcome to Rooney's Revenge and the Mourinho Reject Squad Builder episode. Yeah. You ever just get a delicious shipment of chocolates, but you don't know what to do with them? Dude, these are freaking sick, bro. Look at the expression of this kid's face on the chocolate. What are you looking at, cat? Also wanted to update you guys on the P.O. Box situation. Uh, I've registered for the P.O. Box. I'll get the address probably in the next couple days, and in the videos going forward, once I get the address, I will post them. So if you guys do want to send mail to me, you guys will have that ability to do so through the P.O. Box, and in every other video or so, I'll probably uh, uh, pop out a couple of the packages and open something cool at the beginning or maybe at the end of every video. But uh, yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that. But what? This sick cunt just doesn't want to hang out. Yeah, that should do it. But anyway, boys, like I said, we're gonna be looking at Wayne Rooney, the rooster, as well as a couple of other Mourinho rejects uh, for a variety of reasons, but mainly we're gonna be trying out a new formation, the 4-3-1-2. A lot of people are saying that's very OP. I still haven't found that formation that just kills it for me. 4-3-3-4, we did well in the foot draft yesterday. 4-3-2-1 um, uh, from last year still plays pretty well. 4-triple-2, have not tried. But uh, the question I have for you guys in the episode is what formation are you guys finding is really, really powerful? Uh, a lot of, like I said, the 4 3 one 2 we're going to be using it for the first time in the video today. Usually don't like not having wingers, but I, support, I suppose the 4 3 2 one is, doesn't technically have wingers because it's really like three strikers up front bunched up together, um, which might actually run a little bit like this formation, but we will see. Had some poor performances, has fallen out of favor with Mourinho, and you know I'm not going to say anything bad about him. I'm not I'm not one of those people that's going to talk shit about a player unless your last name starts with the first letter P and ends in freaking cut. We've thrown him into a squad with a bunch of other Mourinho rejects. Like I said, we've got Rooney in there. Uh, most notably, we've got Schweinsteiger, probably the most recent one after uh, after Wayne Rooney. We've got Mata, who is playing for uh, United now, but this one relates more to his Chelsea playing time. We've got Casillas when Mourinho was at Real Madrid. Uh, there was a whole controversy. Adan started, Casillas came back, and then they signed another guy. I forget who else they Sergio something, but they signed another keeper, and it was just a whole mess between him and Iker Casillas. I believe they've reconciled their differences. And then another famous one is Lukaku. When uh, Mourinho was at Chelsea, they sold Lukaku to Everton for 25 mil. And then Mourinho was like, look, it, we, there, we don't need the buyback clause because I don't, he didn't really, essentially didn't rate Lukaku well enough. And then sure enough, Lukaku was on the transfer, uh, on the, one of the transfer targets when Chelsea were looking for a new striker. So anyway, we've also got De Bruyne, who Mourinho infam infamously said doesn't train well and was one of the big reasons he left Chelsea. But uh, yeah, the rest of the club pretty much trying out a couple new things. Lanzini looks like a beast, cheap midfielder, the highest paced midfielder in the Premier League right now uh, for uh, FIFA 17 squad. We've got Christian Eriksen, who we haven't used this year. The left back and right back are going to stay the same. And then we've got Per Mertesacker with a freaking shadow chemistry style, which gives him 40 pace and 99 defending. He's 6'6". Six, six. You just want this card to work. I'm going to try anything I can to make him beast. If you guys do enjoy the episode, if you guys are excited for the PO box, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. We've got Alan Pardew in manager, Rooster's Revenge, freaking Lanzini, a bunch of new fresh faces. We're going to get into a couple matches, see if these guys can ball. Just got a message on Instagram from Juan Rueda, says, it'd be legit the best thing in the world if you could just like say hi to me on a video. Dude, Juan Rueda, what's up, bro? Also regarding the big man dance, I just wanted to show you guys that the big man dance is actually not here. It's not one of the celebrations that you have to unlock. I'm just going to stop trying. I'm going to stop trying. All right, boys, here we go. Match number one. He's got the hound. He's got Musonda. And I think this might be the last episode that I ever tried doing the big man. Be the last episode that I ever tried doing the big man. Try doing the big man. I will never attempt it again if I can't do it in a Shiny. Oh, yeah. Rooster! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rooster! Друзья. How does he miss that?
Referee! Dude, he pulled him. He janked him by his freaking hair. Dude, he daddy janked him by his freaking hair. And now it might only be 1-1. I only have 49% possession. But I can almost guarantee you I'm going to win this match. I can almost guarantee you I'm going to win this match 3-1-4-1. That's how confident and how I'm feeling the player movement is going on at the moment. Got you. Come on. Lanzini had an assist, Lukaku had an assist, Rooney was probably the most impressive player in that match, uh, uh, De Bruyne missed it, uh, Lukaku missed an opportunity that could have sealed the deal at the end of the 90th, um, at the end of regulation time, but it was not meant to be, I guess. We win in pens, which is all that matters, because we do get ourselves a victory. Let's get into match number two. So I've been getting videos like this all day long, showing me different ways about possibly doing the big man. This guy says hold both LB and RB, and then the left and right, right analog stick to the right. I've done it, I've tried doing it at least 20 times. He's so fast, he's so fast. Shit. Lanzini! Come on, boys, let's go! Like, people are saying, is it me or is the Phantom really orange? No, LB, then right analog stick to the right. Right, yeah, the right analog stick is this one. To the right! Beautiful. Didn't even need it, even though we want to turn on. Wait, actually, yeah, we can. Hold on.
Just can't fucking do it! Christian Erickson, Lukaku the beast, Lukaku sends it in, and he fucking rips oh, what it is! Oh, what are you doing? Come on, on boys! Come on! You can't be running. At halftime, we are tearing it up. The formation, I really, really like, and I think it's successful for the same reason that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. If you have three guys bunched up front, and then have a solid line of three midfielders, I think that's the formation that you're going to want in FIFA 17. Don't do this to me! Don't do this to me, bro! Come on! We've got 11 minutes left. We probably have this one in the bag. And he's dabbing on me. He's doing a freaking cheech a dab. Okay, that was shit effort from his keeper. Great goal from De Bruyne. And there you have it, boys. Match number three in the books. 9.3 for De Bruyne. Gets himself two goals. Lukaku gets himself a goal. Rudy gets himself a goal. The Mourinho rejects. Tearing it up. Now, the formation takes a little bit of getting used to, but I can see why a lot of people like it. Uh, gives you a lot of attacking opportunities up front. Doesn't have a whole lot of capability in terms of wingers on the side. I feel like this year is the year of FIFA where you want to run through players. Where if you have a Lukaku or a player with a lot of strength, you can actually run through players. Less about skill, I don't want to say that skill isn't um, isn't a thing in FIFA 17, but definitely with the input delay and a little bit and stuff that uh, contributes to that, I would say skilling is not as uh, proficient as it was in FIFA 16 for sure. 15 shots, 11 on target, we dominated this guy, granted he didn't have an amazing chemistry side, but we get ourselves the 4-1 victory, decisive, decisive victory. But anyway boys, that is the episode, Hurricane Matthew came through yesterday, and it was a bit underwhelming, it did a horrible, horrible stuff in Haiti, I think 300 people died, 80% of like the biggest uh, city there was leveled, and uh, it got to Florida and didn't do much in uh, Miami Beach, or uh, Southern Florida, which is where I live, but it is doing a little bit of damage up north, and I think it's pretty much died down now, uh, not a whole lot, but thank you guys for all the support in the comment section and on Twitter like asking me if I'm okay and stuff and as you guys can see 100% fine power went out for about two hours but that's about it 100% okay but well, anyway boys hopefully you enjoyed the episode if you did hit that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time choose later a day put your kids my hair it is a freezer wait are you saying that your white hair is a refrigerator yeah!